Lost at UV. What we see in here. What have we got? And here in the heart of New Islington, there is a person who appears to be afflicted by a curse. You can see he's wielding formidable crutches. And whilst other members of the tribe will try to detain him, it's extremely dangerous. He is volatile and liable to be run over by a tram at any moment. This guy, his head has fully gone. people you want to check these scenes out check the scenes out those white Andalusian hills all right now that we've checked the scenes out let's chat yo all right I want to keep my head here so that the glare doesn't get on the screen and that so I'm in Andalusia which is southern Spain and I'm on holiday with my family and my girlfriend and our Mike's girlfriend because uh, we were out for our Mike's birthday like a few months back and I was saying to my parents, I was like, you know what, we should all go on holiday together again just like the old times because uh, when I was younger I was fortunate enough to go on holiday with my parents like pretty much every summer and I feel like sometimes you just got to take it back to basics, haven't you? Sometimes you gotta go back to the fundamentals of life because that, that's where it all ends up anyway. Well, I feel like as you go through your life, you will. I'm getting deep here. I'm just. I did not plan to get this deep, but what I'm saying is, as you go through life, you chase many different things and you realize in the end that it was always the basics that are, you know, the true essence of the real things that make you happy and one of the basics is just like spending time with your dad and that in it while he's still alive and that because you know what I mean everyone dies at some point and then you can't go to the beach with them so you might as well do it while they're alive yeah anyway we're in a sick little fucking pad sleeps about 20 people but there's only six of us unreal views the shirt's from River Island, by the way. There's one that's identical in Urban Outfitters, but it's way more expensive. Don't do that. Alright, I'm going to show you the gaff. By the way, well, that's a church, but the other sound you can hear is my mum playing the fucking flute. Alright, let's check the scenes. We got this sick view at the top. We got another little terrace over there. Washing line. There's my father going into his room. Underneath here, this is Mike's room. This is my room. Cuteness. Mugs. Views. Okay. So we got this sick little courtyardy bit. Cute. We got a great table to so have dinner on if we want to sit aside. Got a bird there that came with the gaff. 
A big bull's head. Where are we going, Elder Brew? Physique. Post. <laughs> now we're going to the gym. Do a dynamic. A dynamic on the move clip. Let's do it. Hi everyone, me and Elder Bro are going to A, try and sort out a car so that we can drive to Seville tomorrow. And B, do a half ass leg workout. So we found a gym that we went to yesterday. It's actually decent. Um, but it's hard to train this heat when you've been like busy taming stallions all day. <laughs> nah, we went horse riding today and I was terrified. I feel like it was just not something that I ever ever want to do again in my whole life. I felt scared throughout the whole four hours. That was quite embarrassing. Um, anyway, I'm having a pre-workout Calippo because it's hot. The Calippo isn't hot. <laughs> it's hot. I'll show you the gym and we'll do some, we'll do some fitness stuff. Right. Isn't Calippo an ISIS stronghold? What? Isn't Calippo an ISIS stronghold? That's oh, Aleppo. That's Aleppo. Oh, and it's not an ISIS stronghold. Ah, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> They're trying to, uh... No, it's not. Workout, lad. Huh? How was the workout? It's fucking hot as Vulcan's dick. <laughs> it was, mate. It was hot. Yeah. As he turned out, I thought it was a decent workout, huh? Um, heat deceiving you. Yeah, yeah. The heat makes you feel like you've got no energy, and then it's actually just a lie, man. Just a. It's nature's conspiracy. You get there and you're like, fuck, I can actually do this. I'm a real human. I can do it. And then you do it and you make gains. And it's sick. Then your bro's making gains on holiday. Which other one? You make hospital gains. <laughs> Alright. Let's stroll back. Fucking scenes though. Let's see what We couldn't get the car to go to Seville, so we're on the bus to Gaddy. We're gonna check it out and see what it's like. Two things, these two things, right. Number one, if you're ever in Spain, try these frappe lattes. It's a bit like an iced coffee, but I mean, probably like a million more cows because it tastes like. Oh, me, man. Basically, it tastes like melted coffee ice cream, and it is fucking sublime. 
Wowza. You will not regret that. Also, continuing with standard when we're on holiday tradition, supporting local businesses, testing out the local baked produce. This is a glazed thing. I'm gonna bite it now. Watch me. Oh, it's different. It's like a licorice taste. I don't know if I'm into it. Oh, it's weird. I need time to reflect on this. I'll pick up soon. Alright people, it's our last morning in Veja, 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 in Veja de la Frontera, and uh, just before we leave I wanted to show you something, so come on. This was like, a mad discovery that I made the other day. Anyway, this is a square, fountain, it's all cute, it's like Moroccan vibes because we're like quite close to the south of Spain, you know, close to North, North Africa, so there's a lot of influence in the architecture and uh, cuisine. Anyway, come on. Is this the one? This is the one. Okay, so previously I was under the impression up until fairly recently that a date was, there's that taxi, a date was a dried fruit. However, a date is not a dried fruit, it's just a fruit. I mean, it's kind of dried, but there's no drying process. It dries on the tree. This is what a date palm looks like. So that's what a date grows on. Come look at some dates. See, they come off as like, like greeny, yellowy things, yeah. And then they dry a bit. Look at that shit. Nature's caramel. Factory, right there. I would eat it, but it's probably covered in cat piss. Take some and go All right, some. we've got to go, because our taxi's here. So, we'll see you in fucking Gibraltar, maybe, I don't know. Oh, also, we can't get home, because we were flying with Monarch. It's all fucked up. We can't get home, but we're going to Gatwick, which isn't home. It's like six hours from home, so, yeah. <laughs> anyway. This is sick, right? Bye-bye. <laughs>
That's yeah, like a no, fake no, dog. I oh, know. It's like a real one. Information is also available from the talking telescopes strategically positioned around the terraces. Please take note that the cable car will not stop at the middle station from April to September inclusive. À la station du Haut, vous pourrez connaître les fameux wow. singes de barbarie. N'oubliez pas que ce sont... Yeah, he's a hobbler. That little kid. Oh, that's a little kid. <laughs> Alright, these are Gibraltar monkeys. We got this geezer down here on the rice cakes. I think he's got a competition later today, so he's just carving up. This geezer fucking running around. Right, I'm getting out of here because this looks not sound. The atmosphere is tense, one. Let's get away. See what monkeys? They're quite irascible characters. Um, I feel like. They are not to be trusted. Good little surprises. <laughs> yeah. Hi right, everyone, I'm on Gibraltar Rock. It's a big fucking rock in Gibraltar. There's monkeys here, but... That one's got his dick out, mate. Dick to ball ratio on this monkey is not ideal. Absolute pin dick on it and massive bollocks, mate. Kiwi bollocks. Anyway. <laughs> The views are sick. This is like, that's Spain over there. Just came up here because that's what you do when you're on holiday and we're flying out of Gibraltar so we're just here for the day. Uh, that's it pretty much, so see you later. Facial release. A woman just got a banana stole off her. What did she have out? A banana, mate. <laughs> yeah, oh, and she got oh, with it still out. It chased her down. Jumped yeah, yeah. Up, grabbed it. If there's one thing you don't eat in front of a monkey, it's a banana. Yeah, of all the things, right? Actually, no. Let's see some chicklet or something, but. <laughs> What's happening folks, we're back in England and we're actually in London because as I mentioned previously we were supposed to be flying with Monarch right? and then if you're not aware that airline just went under and so all the flights got kind of rearranged and put on by other airlines but instead of flying to Manchester we flew to Gatwick which is like way down south and then they put on a transfer for you which means we would have had to get a coach back up last night at like midnight when we landed all the way up to Manchester which is like a six hour drive it would have been disgusting we decided to stay in London instead so we just got this room we got it pretty cheap because it was like late rooms and that I thought I'd show you it because it's what we do when we vlog we just show you bits of life and stuff so this is the bathroom fuck the bathroom just the fucking bathroom anyway it's just a room the main point is the main point is they are the world's shiniest motherfucking apples um, we just did a great push workout in the gym downstairs, so we're going to go see a bit of London and then probably see you soon. Ah, oh, close. <laughs> Where's comfiest bed on? Let's go. Back in Manchester. Shout out to Bull Paddles for sending me a big box of shit. Funny how like, I supposed to do this unboxing on camera and then <laughs> by the time I actually like show everything I've already like just dipped me on in the box about 20 times. Anyway, I'm not gonna go through this now, I'm gonna go through this shit next time. Oh also I gotta send a fuckload of these. I got a set of fuck all these protein porridge pots. I haven't tried them yet. So, apparently they're a new thing. And I'm gonna do a giveaway on my Instagram sometime soon. 
maybe today or tomorrow or maybe it was yesterday but whatever anyway i'll go through that show next time point is i was just speaking to mike mike does some coaching as well and uh, we often we often confer with each other um because we you know run into this a lot of the same kind of questions and um you know issues with people and so it helps to you know just have two minds on the situation because sometimes we'll have be able to help each other really um but it got me thinking that maybe i'm going to do a kind of bulking faqs type video you know like some frequently asked questions because i get a lot of the same shit in my dms and shit and even off, off clients and stuff stuff like um rate of weight gain what should you be looking for um shit like that the question of whether you should bulk and cut all that kind of stuff and i was going to go through some of that stuff in this video but then it just turned into a, a vlog pretty much so i'm going to dedicate a full actual video to uh what i'm doing in terms of the bulking plan and also some kind of frequently asked questions but i wanted to kind of open up the floor if you got any suggestions um just put them in the comments, you know, for questions and that, and, and I'll include them. So if you see any as well that you kind of are wondering about also, just like them so that you, you know, they get to the top and I answer the most relevant ones. Um, so that'll be the next video, which will be a bit more like some in-depth. I'll do some fitness shit instead of just looking at monkey's bollocks and that. Anyway, I think that's it. Fucking bye. I'll see, see you later. Monkey dick. Monkey dick. Pin dicks, mate. <laughs> Jordy Lenny is my hero!